All right, today is July the 18th, 2016. Right now at 925 in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 71 degrees. The relative humidity is 61%. The dew point is 57 degrees. And the barometer is reading uh, 30.02 inches. All right, so we're watching the uh, Hawaiian Islands here up close. And this is the remnants of Celia, Hurricane Celia. This is a a, uh, a little disturbance that is, uh, we have rotation here. We can see that here in the infrared map, uh, passing right west, uh, just uh, right north of the islands, heading west. And uh, we can see that uh, there is a, uh, a blast pattern appearing on this uh, storm system right here, this uh, giant uh, supercell. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, water vapor map. And we can see the beginnings of a blast pattern right here on the on the uh, western edge there. And if we go to the uh, the uh, visible light uh, loop, we can see a lot more detail. Notice the uh, strong uh, flow. We have a, a, a easterly flow right here. And the core of this system is right up against that uh, that easterly flow. And uh, so this is interesting. If we take a look at the... Uh, we have high pressure being forced right into this core, right approximately right about here. If we just stop this carefully here and, and uh, you can see that something is occurring right there in the core. Let's look at the uh, visible light map next. And this system here is rebuilding. This was apparently blown apart at an earlier time. We can see that it's being blasted again. You can see that outflow on the uh, east side right here. Moving out to the east. And if we stop this and scroll through it, we can see that approximately right in this area here, we have some odd turbulent behavior right here. This should just be a spiral of water vapor, but if we go back. See all that outflow. If we go back to the uh, infrared loop, we can see that this is in the beginnings of a, this is a new system that's going to be about to be blown apart once again. And we can see that blast pattern here on the uh, water vapor loop. This is the very beginning of that sequence. So in the water vapor, or rather the uh, visible light map, uh, something was occurring right here. But this uh, thunderstorm is rebuilt so quickly that uh, it's hard to describe, or actually it's hard to uh, determine exactly what happened there. But we can see that this is going to be blown apart. There's actually some uh, superheated water vapor shooting out of the uh, east side of this system. Okay. Let's go to the big map and uh, the uh, water vapor loop here, the northeast Pacific. We can see that this is that system we were just watching right uh, northeast of uh, Hawaii. We can see that there's a, a broad, well, there's an area of a, a large clearing right here. There's a transmitter that is putting heat in this area, and that is uh, uh, rerouting the jet stream. We can see that here happening. And uh, the mission is to uh, maintain separation of this system here. This is that former hurricane uh, with the uh, jet stream moisture field. 
which some of that is is moving down some of that uh, moisture is coming down and getting near this uh, low pressure system and then we have a right angle developing right on this uh, area right here this low pressure system spinning over this is an upper level low spinning over washington we can see that uh, there is a, a phased array type a transmitter focusing uh, RF right down on that uh, area right here. And what that is going to do is separate this, this frontal system, this uh, jet stream flow, partial jet stream flow from winding into, into that core. So we can see what's happened here. If we look at this in the, uh, the uh, infrared loop, we can see that uh, nothing is getting around and winding into that core. They've got so much heat. On the interior of this low pressure system that will uh, that will prevent this from winding back into the core so they've got that nailed down it looks like also we can see that there's high pressure building right here in this area over Texas and we have uh, an interesting uh, feature right here this is a uh, this is a man-made feature we have a transmitter which is plowing a, uh, a boundary between this low and these monsoonal thunderstorms right here and that will prevent this monsoonal flow from uh, getting mixed up with this upper level low pressure system right up here and also there's high pressure down here which will prevent these hurricanes from turning north so there's a lot of a lot of things going on and we can see the shock wave on this uh, storm right here is still there's a last pattern that's several hours old right here and this is darby which is now down to 75 mile per hour winds let's take a look at the uh, hurricane map we can see that darby is a category one with 75 mile per hour winds 988 millibar core pressure moving west at 13 uh, miles per hour we have Estelle with 65 mile per hour winds Tropical storm, uh, core pressure of 993 millibar, uh, moving west northwest at uh, nine miles per hour. Then we have two disturbances, number two and number one. Both of these are zero uh, percent chance of hurricane formation in two days. So we'll keep an eye on all that. Here's the uh, East Pacific water vapor loop. We can see the uh, core of this system looks somewhat uh, disorganized. It is being targeted. And we can see the blast waves shooting out on the west side. And same thing with uh, Darby over here. See that? Also, uh, these storms up right here next to California and Arizona are being uh, hit, blown apart right up there. We'll take a look at that. Here's the infrared loop. See those blast patterns right there. Here's the visible light map. All right. Now here's the southwest water vapor loop. We can see that as this thunderstorm develops, it's immediately blown apart as it approaches the uh, eastern California desert and the Colorado River, which is right, right there. Take a look at this in the uh, rainbow loop. The system just quickly disintegrates. It implodes after it's being hit with a microwave energy. It superheats the uh, water vapor and, and the uh, storm system implodes. All right, here is the visible light mode. That thunderstorm system they're not allowing these to get anywhere near the colorado river in fact uh, on the modus today map there is some chemtrail activity over this area we can see that and uh, more uh, activity over here over uh, new mexico near texas all right so we saw these let's look at the pressure maps here we have the uh, sea level pressure map and we see that uh, today over the four corner states instead of having that low pressure we were 
looking at yesterday on this same uh, sea level map. Today we have high pressure all through here. And we have the hurricanes down here, the storm and hurricane. And we have this uh, former Hurricane Celia right over here, right next to Hawaii. And then we have high pressure, which is blocking everything up here. And that will, that's always in place. Let's take a look at the 500 millibar map. See that upper level low right here. We have high pressure right here over the uh, central part of the country. And the 300 millibar at that upper level low, we have high pressure all through here. And we're told that this is going to move to the west. This entire area of high pressure will move towards the west and bring some very, very hot temperatures up in the uh, low 100s for uh, the valleys in, in, in Los Angeles, upper 90s. So we will uh, keep an eye on what they, what they uh, give us. And uh, we will uh, do an we'll do another update tomorrow. Certainly, uh, we'll just leave it. Leave this right here. Okay, that's it.